my name is Siddharth Leonardo Kapp and in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to solve some linear equations and we are also going to see that how we plot those equations and we can represent it graphically. So if you are liking my videos on this series of Mathematica, please give a like button. Let's start with solving some linear equation. Solving linear equation. So I am going to make it convert to text and the format will be some title okay so for an example if i am having some equation for an example let's say eqx let us the magnifier becomes 150 yeah for an example eqx i am writing here 3x plus 2y is equal to 98 okay and if i am putting semicolon then what happens if i am going to hit the shift enter button it will just simply store so what i am going to write just press enter and again i'm going to write equation y for an example let's say another equation is maybe 5x minus 3y is equal to is equal to maybe 89 okay and now again i am putting semicolon and this time i'm going to press shift hit so it will it is so the both are going the, in this way that it is taking in one equation so i want to solve it so how can i solve it so solve i'm going to use command solve i put here this column and eqx equation x as well as equation y okay so what i am solving for i am solving for x and y so for again this bracket and then this one and put this bracket so here is your answer for x and y so I can also modify it. Maybe I can put like maybe 56 Z again plus maybe 90 89 Z and I have to add again one more equation. What I'm going to write again equation Z which is gonna store 6x plus 7y again minus 9 Z which I am going to put here like for an example 78 so again now shift enter so it is in 15 and 56 equation now I am going to put here solve eqx solve eqz okay again I have to solve it for equation x y and z parameters so here we are so we have this following thing for an example let's make it more general for an example ax by and let us say cz okay similarly here what i can write let us use x hang on let us use z no i cannot use z maybe i am going to use a a x b b y now c c z so in this fashion it is taking b b is just one one letter for here for this mathematica now again i'm going to use ssx let's say ggy and let's say hhz now press enter and here it is so now you can see here that whatever you are seeing in this way okay so this is the very general case which is which has solved for xyz so in general it is very complex equation and people may be stuck that oh my god how can we solve this kind of equation this kind of lengthy equations but yeah here with the help of mathematica we can solve easily these kind of situations here just like that just press shift and enter and it will gonna solve it now one may ask that yeah i want to make it a little bit complicated but let's put x square here what happens so if i'm putting x square now here it is your solution is like this it is a very big solution but yeah, you are going to get some solutions of it so what exit what what else we can do we, we may let okay fine let's omit all the all the things from z and let's see what happens with this thing again there is no any z so this is solved so solve x now i cannot use equation z here because I don't need because there is only two variables x and y so i am just solving for equation x equation y they have been stored in equation x and equation y and i am solving for x and y and similarly i am getting this kind of equation maybe i want to make more complex putting y squared what happens again here so here we are 
we have this very bizarre equation like a b e and so on a b d maybe make it c make it f okay uh, let us say it is my h and again let's say it is a1 and it is b2 okay now here we have a really nice thing maybe what happens to a1 where is your a1 i don't see here a1 i think let us make a1 here okay okay oh actually i am not solving here for any equation yet so why should i worry about this kind of equation so a b d c h e so let us see what happens what i'm going to get so this is the very great equation so maybe i want to put equation cube what happens to equation cube oh now i am getting this hash type of thing what does it hash type of thing this has a hash type of thing it is this has it it's actually storing very large amount of equation okay now you may get rid of a hash if i am going to put this n what is the integer value what is the integer value so i can write here this n of this thing now if it is not going it, it signifies that you have using too many variables and the equation is too much complex that it has the has is containing very huge numbers so it cannot show so what you can do here instead of cube maybe you you may put maybe you may put what is your a b c and d so stuff and then putting n it will actually give you all these things so let us see how you can put this so i am going to use slash then dot comma so maybe my a is 2 let us say b is 1 and let us say d is 2 comma c is your what is this 4 and e is your that's the 6 okay so i have again left with h so h is maybe 2 so what happens yeah now still it is not showing you this one so i can again say that yeah what happens to this numerical value so now numerical value this one okay so if i'm using in this line also it is not showing me any kind of numerical values but yeah again still we can use n of this output of 95 and we are going to get this numerical value so using this n quantity we can get rid of this hash so it is never too much worry it is actually happening because of too much number in it okay so maybe i can use 97 and wait here again if we are not putting any kind of variable value of any variable then we are also getting this kind of thing so this is how we are actually solving some linear equations using the solve function okay now come to another part where i am going to plot for an example i want to plot okay maybe x plus y is equal to 4 and comma let's say i have to y plus maybe 7x is equal to 3 because this kind of equation straight line equation find out the variable find out the value of x and y using the graphical method okay now this is the way again if i am hitting shift enter what happens is this is showing me the range specification x y is not the form of x minimum x max so what represents plot first of all you have to understand what does it mean by plot this plot says that you are actually plotting some 2d so in x axis okay in x axis something is varying and in y axis you are getting some result so you have to write your equations in such a form that actually for an example x plus 4y it has become 2d, 2D equation but if you are writing here same same thing it is assuming that x and y both are variable but here is maybe x or maybe y is variable and something is you are getting output so how does it make sense so i can always write that this equation i can write here like for an example 4y 4y is equal to 45 minus x and again i can write here y is equal to what happens y is equal to 45 minus x and over divided by 4 so i have to bracket it 
so in this fashion i have to write each and every equation that i am actually sorry i am actually getting y is equal to something in this form 45 minus x by 4 so what happens i want to write here that 4 minus x okay 4 minus x is equal to 0 and maybe again 3 minus 7 x 3 minus 7 x is equal to 0 now i am putting x from 0 maybe from minus 5 to plus 5 okay so this is the way so from so where it is cutting actually giving me some is the result that you are actually getting for what is the value of x and for what is the value of y you are getting two solutions of x and y from here okay but the problem is that one may ask that yeah i can uh, from here i maybe use maybe for example a and maybe here i am going to use b b okay some any general function so can we vary a and b or can we get some result in terms of very general solutions just like we have got here we have written equation x and equation y in this fashion well can we do that if i am doing it it is not showing anything it doesn't show actually anything so what should we do to actually get this thing we have to use some function called manipulate 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 and we have to use this plot this is your plot complete it so inside plot this is the so now plot is finished manipulate what should we manipulate manipulator is my a and b so first of all a i mean i am to vary it from minus 3 to 3 okay go from 3 to 3 and again i have one more function b again you go from minus 4 to 4 and again bracket close here it is now we are getting some equations here but now what happens if i am showing you it is starting from minus 3 to 4 minus 3 now it has slider it is called slider okay now if you are sliding this way you are actually increasing the value of a and here it is decreasing similarly goes to b now if i want to say that okay fine which which line represents which so in the plot in the because plot starts from here and and from here and here so what i am going to use plot legends okay plot legends and it is showing me some expression okay so let us say it is not showing so automatic okay so plot legends automatic it is not showing me anything let us say plot level automatic so it is uh, giving me some kind of a labeling labeling goes to this one so i don't again need any label so what else we can do here can we write something different well i think we can write plot this one yeah so not in semicolon so one represents this first equation and two represents the second equation so the blue line corresponds to one and the second line corresponds to two now what happens that if i am sliding this way now you can see how it is changing now you can make it more general maybe it is your a3 okay so a3 again both equation is actually varying because both contains a and so on now here you can see maybe your a is this one so what is your value maybe you can put a maybe two okay in this range here is a two and what happens to b b maybe let's say uh minus four to four it is varying actually so i can make it always to go to two so what happens to two if i am putting this there for fixing the a and now b is varying now you can see how this equation is actually varying this way so this is the beauty of of it now i can i make this thing different yeah i can make it let's say x squared okay now here one equation is parabolic type and another equation is this one so what happens to this guy so let us change first a so if my a is changing you you can see here how this parabola is changing for an example now b is simultaneously changing so both are changing now you can see here how it is actually playing so we can always fix it unless a is fixing now b is fixing 
So for some value of a, you can see that it is not actually crossing the parabola. Maybe if for some uh, for some value of a, it is actually crossing the parabola. So it is a very dynamical way to actually understand what happens graphically and so forth, so on and so forth. You may actually do something. For example, you may actually give, make it to cubic equation again. Now for cubic equation, you can see here. Let's say my a is changing only. So how if I am changing the a, how this whole thing is actually playing out? Let us say a is my fixed. A may be fixed. Let's play b. Okay. Oh my God, how beautiful it is! It is actually showing us very beautiful equation, isn't it? So that is the beautiful thing in mathematics. You can anyone can do it. Animation can be seen just using some functions and using simple arguments. So this is why mathematics is too handy to handle. And in my next tutorial, we are going to talk about different how to solve differential equations, and as well as we will show some plots how we how you can plot.